how to format your ebook for Amazon KDP in Word. Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the channel. If you are an author and you would like to publish your ebook on Amazon KDP, here is an easy way to format your book. It is straightforward and simple, and it's a piece of software that we probably all know how to use the basics of, and that is all it requires. So we are going to go on to Microsoft Word. If you do not have the desktop app, you can log into OneDrive.Live.com and you can access Word, you can access Excel, you can access a bunch of Microsoft tools right over here on the left-hand side, as you can see. So we're going to have a look at Microsoft Word today, and it is a very, very useful piece of software. So we can presume that you have already uploaded your book onto Microsoft Word. And just for example's sake, I have uploaded one right over here. And this in actual fact was generated by chat GPT, just for example's sake. So make sure that when you are publishing a book that you own the rights to the book. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that our book title is probably centered. If you want it on the left or the right hand side, you probably can do that. And if you click on home right over here, you can then go and align that text right in the center. So we also want to change the font size right over here and we can go ahead and we can maybe make that 20 or 24 i'm going to make mine 24 right over there and then you have a sub title for your book and again we maybe want to align it in the middle of the page and then we want to change the size of that perhaps and we are going to make that 20 let us make this book title a little bit larger right over here we can possibly make it 36 depending on how big you want it you can change that size then we want to have a look at the font name and we can change that there is a variation of styles we can use right over here and depending on what it is that your book is about and what you want your book to look like you can actually change these styles right over here then we're going to move on we're going to skip the table of contents first of all and what we're going to do is we're going to actually format the table of contents or the headings as we go through each chapter now i've just named it chapter one and chapter two and so forth however it is important that you are naming your titles your table of contents with each chapter you're giving it an appropriate name if you are an author then you will have a bit of experience when actually creating these titles for your table of contents so right over here what we can do is we can make all of our chapters we can make that a heading one and let us make that a heading one as well and if you or on your home tab, you can just go right over here and you can tap on that. And then you can see that it has actually changed right over there. And that is now in heading one format. As we are moving down, you want to maybe space this. And now instead of entering one of these right over here, it says a show or hide tab. We want to not put this in as it shows you over here it shows all the line spaces so we want to not do that let me show you a better way of doing this so we're going to go on to the insert tab right over here which is next to home and we are going to tap on that now you can see that there are a bunch of different options and on right on the left hand side you can see it says page break now what we're going to do is instead of entering a space right over here until this moves over to the next page what's going to happen is when you upload what it's going to do is on amazon when you're uploading your book it's going to remove those spaces so we can tap 
that page break right over there and what it's going to do is it's automatically going to push those contents to the next page now when you upload this will be on page one and this will be on page two then you can do this with all of the rest of your pages if you want to break your pages instead of using the space you can just again you can tap right over there on the page break and you will be able to break it over to the next line and then once you are happy with all of that you can format the body of your text so we can select what it is that we need to select we can jump back into the home tab and that will give us those options again and all of your editing options right over here you can now select the text that you want to edit and this is now the body text you maybe want to change the size of the font and we can make it 10 we can also change again the style right over here so there's a bunch of styles you can actually look through and depending on what it is that you want to do and what you actually are writing about you can choose a style accordingly once that is complete and you're pretty happy with the formatting of your book we can move over to the table of contents as i mentioned earlier on i would like to actually address that separately so when you're doing your table of contents you won't be writing out each and every title as i've done here so i've written out chapter one chapter two chapter three and so forth and this is actually the hard way of doing it or the incorrect way of doing it so i'm going to show you a way that you can auto hyperlink all of these chapters so what you want to do is you want to remove all of these chapters and you want your cursor to be right over here where your table of contents begins now the next thing you want to do is make sure that all your chapters are in the heading one format which is found right over here so once that is in place you can have your cursor right over there and we're going to go up to references which is right next to from home you're going to find insert layout and then references and we're going to tap just on that over there right here you can see on the left hand side it says insert table of contents and the way this works is once you tap that it will automatically insert all of your chapter headings right underneath your table of content and it will hyperlink it so as you can see over here it says chapter one chapter two just because that is what i had named it and you can see that it has the names and what will actually happen is once you tap on these names it'll actually take you directly to that chapter so if we tap on chapter two it'll automatically take you to that chapter so if you are using an ebook then this is the way that you want to edit your table of contents it also shows you right over here on the right hand side the actual page that the chapter is on this is a fantastic way of editing your ebook so that you can publish it. And once you're happy with all of that, you can just go up to the top left hand side where it says file. You can tap on that and you can go all the way down and you can say save as right over there. Now you want to make sure that you are saving it in the correct format. So you can either save it as a docx file which would be as right over here a download a copy and then you can upload it to amazon kdp and that is how you will get your book formatted accurately and easily and you won't have to pay somebody an exuberant amount of money to do all of this for you you can just do it all on your own i hope you enjoyed this video if you did Make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers for now.